Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is the battery compartment. You saw the trailer before. There's eight batteries in here. I have room for 12. Um, I took the other ones back to, uh, I was going to play with, but uh, the winter, well, it's another story. So at any rate, um, this is it. This is uh, eight batteries. They're the T105 REs. Um, last year, last winter, I put those panels down thinking, ooh, I should do the safe thing and put them down so they don't actually get damaged by any rocks or trees or doing that actually was the stupidest idea and yes you could put it on my comments you were a stupid thing <laughs> so i put those down so which meant basically it was hardly anything going to these batteries and uh some of them froze um a matter of fact they all froze because the charge got so low and they cracked on the outer ones the inner cells did not crack only the inner the outer corner so i ended up getting the uh the goop the automotive goop and uh sealed all the corners with goop and covered it over with um monster duct tape and or gorilla duct tape and then went over it again with another layer of goop did all the batteries refilled them with fresh sulfuric acid battery uh fluid and um, after that process I had one two three four cells that continued to leak uh, so this was one of them it has the X on it so I know when I look in there and see uh, nothing that uh, it didn't work um, this was one that I fixed and there's some fluid in there. I don't know if you can see it. There's some fluid down a little low, but some of them seem like they leaked more. This one is good. Um, so while I have it open, I'm gonna check out the, the hydrometer and uh, see where we're at with it. So that's where, Oops, and your motion. Ah, yeah, there you are. All right, so that's where I'm at with my charge. Now, in the fall, this thing was sitting in the red line. Now we're in the white, which means it's not up the charge completely, but at least it's better than red. Um, so this is something you should have if you're having, you know, wet cells, and most people have wet cells. Um, so that you could check them on occasion and they're not that much money they're only about eight dollars at the store um, now there's other stuff in here I says I have a nice switch there to cut off the inverter uh, which is a good thing probably should have a second nice switch to cut off the battery from the diverter um, that would be a good idea um, maybe my next step, maybe I'll do that. And, um, and I resist of those. So if there was some unbelievable possibility that we got a really big storm and the uh, overcharged batteries, these the in charge controller will do is it'll divert that energy over to this heater, uh, which I have learned that I brought actually this one's all right because this is on a heat sink I have some I mounted to plywood I've had to fix those but um, so um, it'll divert that energy over to this and um, it'll basically warm this whole pot up it has some drain holes in it if it leaks but it looks like it's a good thing um, because I know my friend Craig is uh, they probably could top these off with some. Some of these cells are actually low. So 
but maybe they didn't actually do as well as I liked them to do. Um, but it's what it is. If it makes through the night, I'll be happy. And then the next day, you're not in the cabin again. So, at any rate, um, I'm going to top off these batteries with some distilled water and see how that does. And we'll talk to you soon.